Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today we are going to talk about pop-up menu. Okay, we're going to create this kind of menu using the J pop-up class. And by definition, a pop-up menu is a kind of menu that can be dynamically popped up at a specific position within a component. So in this video, we're going to create a pop-up menu and add it to our frame and I'm going to show you how to do just that. Okay, so if you want to create a pop-up menu, as I said, you have to use the Java class called J pop-up menu. So let's start. Here is my code. I have two classes, the first class, which is the main class as usual. This line of code is for creating the instance of the MyFrame class. And in the MyFrame class, I am inheriting from the JFrame class. And in the constructor, I have set the attributes of my frame. So let us create a pop-up menu. So as I said, we need to use the J pop-up menu class. So I'll say J pop-up menu, and I'll call it pop-up menu like this, new J pop-up menu, and then semicolon. I need to import the J pop-up menu class. So after that, we need to add, um, I need to declare and instantiate some menu items. So as usual, I will say J menu item. First one, I will say cut equal new J menu item. I'll set the text to cut, import the J menu item class. Simply copy that, paste it. This one I will change to copy. Um, I will change to paste. And then the last one will be select all. So I will simply say select all. So now that's it. I need to add these menu items to the pop-up menu. So I will say pop-up menu that add copy. I will repeat this uh, line of code. So down here, I will be cut, paste, and then select all. Yeah, so that's it. Let's add our pop-up menu to the frame that add pop-up menu. And we need to set the bounds of our pop-up menu that set bounds. So let's say 200, 100, 150, 200. Let me just fix the width of the frame and then its height as well. Let's run. So here, nothing is happening because we need to add a mouse listener to our frame so that whenever I click on the frame, the pop-up menu will appear. Okay, that's what we want to do. Nothing will show because our mouse listener has not been added yet. So let's add a mouse listener. Let's come here and say implement mouse listener. Import the mouse listener class, add on implemented methods. And this that add mouse listener and we'll pass in this because this is the same class that is implementing the mouse listener so we are simply going to work on one of these methods we will choose the mouse clicked okay so this is going to make sure that when the user clicks on the mouse something would happen we will show the pop-up menu so now in the mouse clicked method what we will only say is we'll say pop-up menu that show this that's gonna be the frame because our class that we're finding ourselves is going to create an instance of a frame and then we need to pass in the coordinates i will change the mouse event name here so i'll say evt so that here i will say evt that get x so this is going to return the coordinate of our mouse and um, evt that get y yeah so this is also gonna get the x and y coordinates so here i'm having an error because we declared our pop-up menu in the constructor so let me declare it outside of the constructor so that it's going to be a global variable and once i've done that i will simply remove that here so now there's no error when I run and come and click here, now you can see the pop-up menu. If I click here, the pop-up menu is there, clear. So whatever I click there, you can find the pop-up menu, all right? So that's basically how this works. So now we can also apply some action listeners on the menu items. Here we've been able to apply the mouse listener. That's why when you click on your mouse, pop-up menu is showing, okay? So based on this line of code here. So what if after clicking on the mouse, the pop-up menu shows, and then if you select one of the menu items, what will happen? So this is what we wanna um, declare now. We will add another variable. So that will be a label, a J label that 
um, label semicolon. Import the legend label class. And uh, one thing, we don't necessarily need the set bounds here because as you can see, the pop-up menu can appear wherever we want it to appear. Okay, So it's based on where you click on your mouse in the constructor. And then here, it's going to get the positioning, the coordinates, the X and Y coordinates. So there's no need to have a set bound. So the label, we need to instantiate our label. So we say label, new J label. For now, I will simply say label. Uh, we can set its uh, horizontal alignment by saying label that set horizontal alignment, J label that center. Uh, let's work on the size. So label that set size, let's say 700 for X for the width and then 100 for the height. Okay, so now here we have our pop-up menu instance. We have our menu items. We've added all of that. Uh, what we need to do is to actually implement the action listener. Okay, so here we will simply add another interface. So we'll say action listener like this. We need to import the action listener class and add an implemented method. So now let's come here. You will see we will have the action performed method down here. Before we work on that method, we will add some action listener on our menu items. All right, so here we will simply say, uh, we will start with a copy, say copy that add action listener and you say this uh, yeah so we will do the very same thing for the other menu items this one will be cut paste and select all so our action listeners have been added now let's work on the action performed method so in this method i will simply change the name of the action event to e and i will say if e that gets source so that means if the source of the event is cut or well, let me say copy i simply want to change the text of the label so i'll say label that set text you clicked on on the on cut menu item so this is a string i need to put that in double quotes yeah so our copy is uh underlined that means there's an error I know why, because our menu items were declared in the constructor. I need to fix that by declaring them outside of the constructor so that they will be accessible globally. So I'll say copy, cut, um, paste, select all, and then semicolon. Then here, I remove this, that, this as well, and that. Yes, so it's come down to our action performed. Yeah, I need to change this to copy. So you clicked on copy menu item. So I'll simply copy and paste. Let's say if here we are clicking on the cut menu item, we will change the label of the text to you clicked on cut menu item. Um, we will say if it is paste, we'll change you click on paste menu item. Then the last one will be select all. And here we'll say you clicked on select all all menu item. So now you know what? We did not add our label to the frame. Let's do that right now. So we say this, that, add label. Okay, so let's check. Let me run. So now if I click on cut, now you can see you clicked on cut menu item, paste. Yeah, I can maybe just try to increase the font of the label. So I'll say set font, new font. Arial font bold and 20. So label that set for ground color that blue, for example, import the color class. Now when you run there, you click on select. Now you can see you clicked on select all and all of that. You know how we can even put the color of the text to red like this. So whenever you click on the menu item, you know, a different label appears on the frame. All right, so what we can do, we can also change the font style of our various menu items. So I'll simply come here and change to copy, and uh, this will be copy as well. So as for the text, I uh, will give it a different color. Let's say blue, for example. All right, so let's do the same thing for the other menu items. So cut, cut here as well. So this will be paste, paste, and then I will say select all, then select 
Oh, now let's run. So now you can see that the text of our menu items are shown differently now. All right, guys, that was it on pop-up menu items, how to create a pop-up menu. You know, we've been able to do that to uh, add a mouse listener so that the user, when he clicks on the frame, a pop-up menu shows. And we've also worked on um, action listener where the menu item of our pop-up menu could listen to the action events and then be able to output a message on our frame. So I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and share and also subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.